Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell the truth about silver. Today is Saturday the 12th of February 2022. And we're publishing our gold and silver weekly update for the week ending the 11th of February, which show both gold and silver prices jumping on Friday. Why? Well, let's take a look. Well, a very good week for precious metals, but primarily for Friday. Gold rose $51 last week, rising from $1,808 to 1859 having hit a high of 1865 and a low of 1807, a rise of 2.8%. In sterling terms, gold finished the week at £1,371, up £34. Pounds. And in euros, it closed at €1,639. Euros. That's up €60. Euros. The irony is that we were banking on a little bit of pressure on gold this past week so that one could acquire some more. Doesn't look like it's going to happen short term now in view of what is happening and we'll cover that in a few moments time. Silver rose $1.07 rising from 22.53 to 23.60 having hit a high of 23.72 and a low of 22.53 53, a rise of 4.7%, so that compares with gold's 2.8%. In sterling terms, silver closed at £17.42, pence. that's up 77 pence, or three quarters of a pound. And in euros, it closed at 20.81 euros, and that's up 1.14 euros. The gold to silver ratio obviously then fell from 80.2 to 1 to 78.8 to 1. Bitcoin managed to rise, though it's down today. It's up $780 and currently stands at $42,228. Now, looking at equity markets, the Dow Jones closed on Friday at 34738 That's down 503 points on the day and 351 points on the week. So had it not been from Friday, it would have been up. The S&P 500 closed at 4,418, down 85 points on the day and down 82 points on the week. Similar situation. And the Nasdaq Composite closed at 13,791, down 394 points on the day and down 307 points on the week. So had it not been for Friday's fall, equities would have been in positive territory albeit only just. Oil prices rose yesterday. Brent crude closed at $94.44. That's up $1.17 on the week. And WTI crude closed at $93.10. And that's a rise of $0.79 cents on the week. Oil prices had started to drift back to the $90 level earlier in the week, marginally going below in terms of WTI crude, but what happened Friday put pay to all that. And we'll cover that in a moment. The dollar index stands at 96.08. And that is now up 0 0.60 on the week. And as we've stated for a while, we expect its strength to be maintained. Now we concluded last week's video with the following forecast. We see gold trading between 1750 and 1850 and 1725 and 1875 as outliers. We see silver trading between $22 and $23 and $21.50 and $24 as outliers. Well, up until Friday, both gold and silver were trading comfortably within our normal trading range. But the serious prospect of Russia invading Ukraine came to the fore yesterday, causing precious metals to spike. Nevertheless, we're pleased to show that in spite of gold rising $36, and silver jumping 70 cents on Friday, both still traded within our outlier range. Now, the two effects last week on prices for gold and silver were the CPI figures on Thursday, which were much worse than many anticipated, a 7.5% rise. And we said in our last weekly update to watch out for this, this particular figure. And the second being the US ordering non-emergency staff out of Kiev yesterday and warning that 
Russia could attack Ukraine next week. These two factors sent markets reeling downwards and gold and silver upwards. Now that said, the difference between gold's high and low for the week was $58 and silver $1.19. But we are expecting potentially more fireworks next week. Now normally we would go into the technicals for gold and silver, but we're not going to do that this week. Why? Let us explain. The geopolitical situation is at such a heightened state we genuinely believe the technicals will have little benefit for traders unless we go way out on the scale. 20-day and 50-day moving averages will not, in our view, have any major relevance, nor will RSI and MACD indicators. Not for this next week. Now, not all analysts will agree with us on that, but normal trading conditions do not apply when there is a major threat of military action, and we would have to go back a number of years to see what happened to markets when we had a similar situation involving Russia and Ukraine. But the economic landscape is very different now, anyway. What we can do, however, is look at what economic information is coming out and assess whether these figures will add to the woes or help alleviate them. So what do we have coming out of the US this week? Well, nothing really on Monday. Tuesday, we have the Producer Price Index for January and the Empire State Manufacturing Index for February. Wednesday, retail sales, import price index, industrial production for January, the NAHB Home Builders Index for February, and FOMC minutes, which should show an interesting light on the decision the FOMC made at the last meeting. Thursday, we have the weekly jobless claims, but we also have building permits and housing starts for January, and the Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index for February. And then on Friday, existing home sales for January and leading economic indicators for January. So we need to look at the producer price and manufacturing index, the FOMC minutes, and perhaps most important of all, the retail sales figures on Wednesday. The Russia-Ukraine issue is going to dominate, and now some are stating that China is looking at this crisis as a proxy for Taiwan, which will further increase tensions and make the stakes that much higher. So a prediction for gold and silver this coming week is going to be extremely difficult and almost entirely dependent on what Russia does. With this in mind, we see gold trading between $1825 and $1900, with $1790 and $1950 as outliers. Of course, we might get an unusual spike even beyond that level. But that's where we broadly see gold trading. We see silver trading between $23 and $24.60 and $22.50 and $25.25 as outliers. What do you think? Do share your thoughts. Also, just a shout out that we will be producing two videos tomorrow, a repeat of this one under a different headline, plus our view on gold prices. Then on Monday, our forecast for silver for 2022 though we were tempted to delay it yet another week because, of course, what could happen if there is an invasion could blow any assessment out of the water, at least short term. But we will nevertheless still publish that video. Thank you so much for listening. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel, not forgetting to press the bell sign so you're notified of our videos as and when they're published. And finally, we wish you a safe, enjoyable weekend and a prosperous week ahead. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.